Good morning. I'll present early results of microdrilling surgery for full thickness chondral lesions of the knee augmented with concentrated bone marrow aspirate, platelet-rich plasma, and hyaluronic acid. My co-author and I have no disclosures. Full thickness chondral lesions of the knee can be a significant source of pain. Existing treatments, though, primarily form fibrocartilage. The big problem with standard treatments is they don't work well for bipolar or kissing lesions. The best solution, if it existed, would be to just grow some new cartilage. What do you do for this patient? She has large kissing lesions on the patella and trochlea, as well as the lateral condyle and tibia. In 2011, doctors saw and associates published a series of five patients treated with microdrilling surgery and postoperative injections of peripheral blood progenitor cells and hyaluronic acid. Second look biopsy confirmed the presence of type 2 collagen and proteoglycans. This 49-year-old patient had a varus deformity and also required a proximal tibia osteotomy. The medial joint space is improved at 18 months. Biopsy of the medial condyle and tibia demonstrated characteristics of hyaline cartilage. Another 34-year-old patient had restoration of her lateral patellofemoral articulation by two years. Biopsy of her cartilage also showed type 2 collagen and proteoglycans. Our treatment protocol consisted of microdrilling surgery followed by post-op injections of bone marrow aspirate concentrate platelet-rich plasma, and hyaluronic acid. Patients were partial weight-bearing and used a CPM. Bone marrow aspirate concentrate supplies the cellular element. PRP has been shown to promote mesenchymal stem cell differentiation into chondrocytes, and hyaluronic acid enhances the proteoglycan content. Major inclusion criteria were age 18 to 64 and a BMI less than 35. Total lesion area was up to 18 square centimeters. Primary outcome measures were IKDC score and Knee Society score. All patients get a T2-mapped MRI at 18 months. This is an operative video of that 18-year-old female shown earlier. This is her patellofemoral compartment, lateral condyle and tibia plateau, drilling of the patella, and the lesions after drilling. Sixteen patients have been treated to date. The total area treated was 0.6 to 14.7 square centimeters. Twelve patients have at least six months follow-up. Their IKDC and Knee Society scores have improved by an average of 22 points and 25 points respectively. Ten of these 12 patients have improved by at least 11.5 points, which has been previously shown to be the minimum clinically important change. This graph shows the results of all patients with 95% confidence interval bars. The bars are much larger at 8 to 18 months because of the small number of patients that far out. This is the same patient we saw earlier with sagittal MRI at various time points. By 18 months, cartilage thickness in the treated area is similar to her native cartilage. T2 mapping shows layering similar to adjacent areas. Without biopsy, I can't see, of course, what type of cartilage it is. In conclusion, early results are encouraging and warrant enrollment of additional patients. Thank you.